I'm welcome my friends. I'll show you how to run the project on your computer. So, go to the GitHub page of the project. You can find, find it in the description. So, you go there, code, and download the project. I downloaded earlier this project. Translate the project. Update this. So now open the project, open it, and install the code. So, okay, so I open this earlier. Now there is some step you need to follow in order to run the project without any errors. First of all, we need to run inside the project a uh, command, and the M command. Need to download Node.js in order to use NPM package manager. Okay, open terminal, click on npm install not an om npm install in order to download all the packages that the project needs in order to run. Okay, that's done. We have the node modules, everything is okay. Now, open files. Oh, it is the update.js. We have the contract address. Should put the, our contract address here after we deploy it. Contract we're currently using. The, sorry, makes your use for checking the transaction. On the API of the contract. So from where we get the contract? Okay, we get it from contract application. Just so we copy the contract. Now we go to Linux. Vm IDE. Is it there? And yeah, compile. Compile the contract. Our contract. And after we combine it, go with the ABI, place it there. Have a JS here. ABI. I did this before. Already there. That we deploy. Click on Jet Provider. Use MetaMask. Have some coins on Polygon blockchain. Now I will deploy the contract. Save the transaction. Wait a few seconds for the application. You can use Ganache to do this, or use any test network. I'm now using a real blockchain network. And use test networks, use Ganache. I have a problem with Ganache. I cannot connect the Ganache to my MetaMask. I don't know why, so I will do it on Polygon Mainnet. We wait. Wait. The application of the transaction. So much time. I think that oh, okay, I'm recording. Oh, thank God. Transaction is done. Now our contract on the polygon can take the contract address, copy it, paste it, the address variable, click save. We should change it in the verified or JS also. Let's say in the API, but it's already here. The work is already here and the door. So now we need to open the, our project on live server using live server from VS Code and download this 
from VS Code extensions. Open the project in Live Server. This is the home page. Go to the admin. Admin or the owner of the project can admin of the project who can add many portals. Uh, one or the account that used to deploy the contract, which is start with 0x6. So I will use the same account to add exporter. One and all add this account, this account as export. Create. Click on anything, this is the name of the university. Click on art. I will put the priority to very high. Click on which. Click on. Click on compare. Wait. Okay, I need. Mean. Water added to the blockchain. Now it can switch to the account. Um, we should see the name of our account here. Upload to the one uh, balance the account. Let any document. I will use any document. Can use document. Like example. The document I'm using IDFS also can see the way you upload. Click on aggressive, okay. confirm the transaction, we'll pause the video. Transaction is complete. This is the QR code of the document and download the QR code. And see the recently uploaded documents and verify the project. You can see the document verified. We change any one pixel in this image or any file that we uploaded. Then try to verify it. We cannot because it's cryptographic. This cryptography upload this document. Now go to verify the file. Let me be four. Let's verify. So guys, you have any errors? Just go back to this video. Let's go. Your work. Yes. API, like I said, do everything. Also, we can delete file. The workshop that's all the project, uh, that are the uh, documents can only delete the documents. No one else, even the admin or the owner of the project. Okay, I think that's the end of the video.